guys? Welcome back to our video. Hopefully you can hear me pretty well right now. It's actually gusting 30 miles an hour with sustained winds of 10 to 20 right now. So I'm here, obviously in the marsh, you guys can see. Um, spot I've been previously before a few times um, last year. Actually here last week with no luck. So I'm here again, my friend Eddie. Um, and we're trying to catch some stripers and perch. Got some blubbers from Bucktails Outfitters. Wind is actually settling down right now. Um, just got set up, hopefully looking for some fish. Uh, yeah, air temp, 45 degrees. Hopefully water temps around there. Like I said, very windy. Using blubbers for bait. Hoping for the first stripers, first few stripers in the marsh of the season. Open March 1st, so today's March 7th, six days ago. See what we can do out here, pretty optimistic. Um, the spot I know catches a lot of fish, so. We'll see what we can do right here, guys. Stoked. See you guys on the GoPro. Hopefully it's a banner day of fishing. About one o'clock now, four hours later. Hopefully we reap in a lot of fish. See what we can do. Woo! Baby, striper <laughs> for sure. Told you they're here. <laughs> Feel like a striper, guys. See what it is. Been here like what 20 minutes? Well, that's good. I feel good. Digging good. Of course, as soon as we walk away, <laughs> they're here though. It's good. Bring them in. Sorry if you guys can't hear anything. Windy right now. Just got done standing up. Let's see what we got here. This is the rod I cast it out by far the farthest, so it makes sense why we got one. Feels nice. Not sure how big it is, but we'll see soon. All right, little guy. Little, little, little striper. First fish of the day, a little like 18 inch striper, baby guy, but might be some bigger ones to perch out here. Alright, so I'll hook him real quick, got a quick pick. Send him out on his way. Super windy guys, just picked up some blood worms. Early March. Doing good. There we go. Awesome. There it goes. See you, bud. All right, let's cast back out. Cut some more. Woo! All right, guys, beam back up now. Big piece of blowing right here on this uh, high-low perch rig. We got it on. Going heavy weight today, three ounces, because um, just there's a lot of wind right now, a lot of current, so we're combating that. So we'll see what we can do real quick. Yeah, that's, that's farther than I did last time, so that'll definitely get a fish. All right, that rod's down. Push that drag. Looking good. Nice. on guys on the little ultralight this is the smallest rod i have very very small got a fish on though this is what i use for trout and sunnies and all that crap oh this guy bite actually out of the wind right now so I'm happy a little bit six pound test right here so we'll see maybe it's a decent sized perch but this cove right here is pretty good perch perch fishing spot um, as opposed to just casting out in the main river. 
where the stripers tend to hide. Feels good, but again, this is a tiny rod. We'll see what we got here. There we go. Nice and active. Pretty big perch, dude. Got him right in the gill. There you go. Little white perch. Pretty good size and probably a pound. Pretty pregnant though, actually, so I'm gonna let it go. All right, guys, here we go. Little perch. First one of the day um, after the striper. Probably been in our 20 minutes or so. Bite's doing good. Tide's on its way up. So this guy's caught him in a little cove right there. I love love worm speaky rig. We got a really fat belly as you can see. So we're gonna let him go. I don't know if it's food or eggs. But um yeah, I'm gonna toss this guy back. See you dude. I know there's some bigger uh, perch here. I think I got one last year almost three pounds, so aiming for that guys. Uh wind is laying out a little bit. <laughs> you guys can probably hear, but uh tide is coming up, should be good for the fishing. And still waiting for some more stripers and perch. Try to get any fish, so see what you can do. Definitely the best spot, right at any creek mouth, guys. This is my, one of my favorite spots to go to, but any creek mouth would be good. Especially at high tide and in the spring, perch just love to gather around there. I don't to cast out that far, so we should be good. Let's see, that guy's out. Check the other rod and bait that up. Let's see what we can do. That was definitely a mine. Pretty sure that was. Yes. Right, please. Please be a fish. I could have sworn I had a fish. Oh, it is a fish. It is a fish. <laughs> There you go guys, perch number two. Bite really, really just came to a freaking halt. Not catching crap out here. It's been like an hour and a half since the last little perch we got. It's almost two hours since the first striper. A little perch size to show up. Not going to keep any of these guys today, going back out tomorrow, but uh, yeah, look at that little guy right there. Sick. Hopefully, hopefully the bite picks up on the perch front. I'm not sure what's going on today, but still early in the season. See a little perch. There he goes. All right, bomb us back out there. See what we can do. All right, there we go. All right, so let's reel these in and then move them back. I think I just felt a bite, bro. No cap. I just felt a perch bite. Came with a fish on, guys. Not sure. We'll see. Oh my god, I do a fish. I got a perch. <laughs> there we go. That's a chunky freaking perch. There we go, guys. That's a huge freaking perch right there. That's sick. Look at that. We got a perch right there, guys. Giant, probably a pound or two. Just reeling in, about to recheck the bait. And had this guy on, that is a healthy perch. I'll take a picture of him and we'll let him go. That's sick. Third perch of the day, pretty big one. All right, Mr. Perch, time to let you go. See ya. Tide is definitely up a lot. Look at all this grass right here. Whew. Almost up to my knees, or used to be no water at all, so. Look at that guys, little tiny striper right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Baby striper from the middle of the uh, middle of the river. Inhaled a blood worm looks like. Yeah. On the high low right there you go. Alright guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today. Uh, end of the day with two perch actually three perch one was uh probably over a pound pound and a half um and two stripers i got one eddie got another like eight inch right mine was like 18 but um yeah just soaking blood worms for about three four hours out here using four rods um high low rigs just doing the trick for today as always with this late um 
late winter, early spring fishing. So migration should be heating up soon. Hopefully some more stripers start coming through this area. I'm um, going to a new location tomorrow. I'm going to try around there and uh, see what I can get. But that'll be next week's video. I'll see you guys then if I catch anything. But um, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Successful trip. First one in a while for me. I've been actually skunked for almost a month now. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've definitely seen that. So yeah, been definitely some tough fishing, but spring is near, warm temps are near, and good fishing is coming. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you next week. Hopefully, some more fish.